So that's the marina done, the birds are singing, we're all good to go to Shenton for the evening. Well, as you can just see, I am now joined by Nikki. She has done her walk. I don't know how many thousand steps she's done. Probably double because of the amount of mud. She'd have been slipping and sliding all over the place. But yeah, join with Nikki now. Uh, not too far to go to Shenton. And that'll be our mooring for the evening. But uh, we're both pretty keen now to start our way towards Birmingham on our little detour. Um, yeah, it's at the back of our minds. We keep thinking, what if something else goes wrong? So we just want to try and make headway now and head south towards Crick. is Shenton Aqueduct, but we're not stopping. It's just such a lovely day for cruising. It's a lovely day. Um, so we've decided to carry on perhaps to Ambien Woods uh, just before Sutton Wharf there. We might carry on to there. It is just a beautiful day. And as I said earlier, because of our change of plans, we really want to keep going if we can now and try and make a bit of headway just in case something else goes wrong. Hello. Hello. Oh, he's got a mate. Oh. Hello, doggies. Oh, I'm going to crash. <laughs>
that really was a nice cruise but you might be able to hear the wind getting up uh, and there's some pretty black clouds coming in from behind us here so we think we've got a bit of weather coming in moored up just before Sutton Wharf we're probably about 10 minutes um, short of Sutton Wharf we don't want to go there again really uh, and we like it here this is called Ambient Woods and the battlefield uh, <laughs> heritage centre is over there we're not going back there because quite frankly there was no battle there but it was very nice and they did nice cake but anyway we're moored here for tonight weather permitting we're going to move on towards Hinkley Marina got a couple of parcels to pick up spend a night or two there and then we will be heading off the Ashby Canal and as I said earlier heading down towards Faisley Junction where we'll be going up the Birmingham and Faisley Canal <sighs> right I'm going in and having a nice coffee because I'm starting to get cold We'll catch you when we move next time. And we're off. We had a couple of nights there at Ambient Woods with uh, Derek and Pauline. They joined us, I think it was yesterday. They were down at uh, Sutton Wharf. It's Tuesday the 19th of March and we're making headway now towards the marina. We do have a little bit more news to share but we need a bit of confirmation before we can share that. Perhaps I shouldn't have said anything. But we're on our way yet to Hinkley Marina yet again. We've got some parcels uh, and then we've got another change of plan. Our travel plans have changed a little bit more. Let's get going and I'll let you know in a minute. Well, we've just gone past all the boats there at Sutton Wharf. There's quite a few there on the, uh, I don't know, residential, I don't know, but private moorings. But yeah, our plans have changed. We are now, when we get to Marsden Junction here, back with the Coventry, we're going to chuck a left and we're going into Coventry. We're going into the city. Uh, Nikki and I have a bit of a meeting. If you remember last summer where we filmed with Channel 4 for a television series that's coming up uh, called Narrow Escapes. Well, we're having a meeting with all the producers and everyone that's took part, but it's going to be in Birmingham. And Nikki and I could do with something a little bit smarter than uh, jeans that are falling apart and check shirts. So we may have to go <laughs> and look for something a little bit smarter so we're heading into Coventry which means that we may be hanging on around the Birmingham area for a little while um, we think this meeting is going to take place in the middle of April so we're going to be in that area but that should still give us enough time plenty of time to get to Crick
we have just gone past Stoke Golding and yes I promised well don't know whether I promised but I said that I do a little bit of a walk around the church there St Margaret's Church in Stoke Golding unfortunately we're not stopping there on this trip but we will be back in the autumn and I will share that story when we come back in the autumn we do have a few parcels to pick up we do have a lot on really and hopefully we can reveal a lot more in uh, the future of why we're rushing a little bit uh, well I wouldn't say we're rushing but uh, yeah we're, we're carrying on through Stolt Golding today anyway coming to is bridge 20 and it's a miracle it's still standing it's got big cracks in it the thing is falling apart I would imagine there'd be some sort of blockage here uh, pretty soon looking at this bridge yes yeah, just coming up now and here is bridge 20 I don't know whether I can zoom in with the sunshine it's a bit tr sunshine but it is in a heck of a mess can you see the gap there the bricks are all coming apart. It has got the strengtheners going through the bridge, but I don't think they're doing any good. I don't think it'll be long and this is gonna be in the canal. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it looks really bad and it's the same on both sides. So uh, we'll see how long that one lasts. Not long to go now and we will be back at Hinkley Marina. Well. Uh, Aqua Vista, Waterside and Marina. Waterside and Marina, is it, darling? Trinity, Waterside and Holden. Oh, yeah, Trinity, Waterside and Marina. I think it's the full time, but it's a lovely marina and we're heading back there. Uh, we have purposely missed out a few things because we are coming back here in the autumn on our way back from our adventures this year. We haven't done a couple of the farm shops. We haven't done uh, Stoke Golden. We haven't done the uh, Triumph motorcycle place either, but we will in the autumn, and that will give us something to look forward to. But yeah, let's get let's get to the marina, pick up our parcels, and get settled for a couple of days.
there's a place where many dreams are made. The Triumph Factory. Home of the Triumph Motorbikes. And Nicky's brother's just got a new one. So uh, Nicky's dad and Nicky's brother, Mike, have both got lovely shiny new Triumphs. That's us all moored up in the marina. We're going to be here for a couple of nights. As I've said earlier, we've got a couple of parcels, bits and bobs to pick up and a couple of things to sort out. And then we're on our way, hopefully Thursday morning. And we're heading left out of the marina for a change, which means we're heading off the Ashby Canal and heading towards Hawkesbury Junction and Coventry. Catch you next time. Mm -hmm.